If you have trouble getting your iPhone videos onto your PC, I may have an answer for you. Let's go. This is the business of art. G'day, Paul from the Business of Art here where creativity and commerce come together. Today, I may have discovered the answer to a problem that's been plaguing me for, well, for as long as I've had an iPhone, to be honest. I have been struggling for a long time to get my video footage from my iPhone onto my laptop. Now, I do have a low-end laptop. It's not designed for video editing. That is one of the next big purchases that I will be making. What I find is that when I'm transferring video files from my iPhone through the lightning port cable into USB, it can do some very small video files, photos, no problem. But when I'm dragging and dropping video files of any kind of size, 100 meg and over, it just craps out. It just dies. It will not transfer those files across. It loads it across to about the tiniest sliver, just waiting to process those last few megabytes. And then it just crashes out and says, oh, it's disconnected and I can't help you. And it has just been so frustrating to try and get that video footage across because I'll shoot stuff on my phone to add into videos and use it for content. I'm filming fight sessions that I'm having with a friend of mine who we're you know, trying to bring up through the, the medieval fighting ranks. Uh, it's a whole nother story. But trying to get those video files off my phone and onto my PC so I can do a quick edit with them and get them up onto YouTube is just been no end of trouble. After a bit of additional prompting from my wife who said, you know, maybe you should Google it again, I did actually come across a possible solution tonight. So what it actually is, is an app that you download on the phone and a desktop version of the app that you put on your computer so that uh, the phone and the computer can sync via your Wi-Fi connection, creating a private portal for that information to transfer through. And uh, it's, it's actually, pretty simple. There is a free version and a paid version. I have actually gone with the paid version because the free version will only allow you to transfer the top 50 videos on your phone. And top 50 seems to be the first 50 that it lists when it lists your videos and, and brings up your videos. And I'll show you what's on the screen in a second. So when you open the app on your phone, you'll see that it uh, gives you the option to use a web browser and it says to go to simpletransfer.app slash desktop. Now, once you download the desktop app and open it up, it will ask you to enter a four digit code and that four digit code will appear on your phone. Just type that in and you are good to go. And it brings up this comprehensive view of everything that's on your phone. So you can see recents, favorites, photos, splits it up into slow-mo, selfie screenshots, bursts, time-lapse. So we go into videos and uh, in the free version, you can see these are the oldest videos that I have on my phone. If I went to sort this, it would come up with an error saying uh, you need to have the paid version to get anything other than your top 50 videos. So. I haven't tested this, but it is potential that I could download those videos, delete them, and then whatever the next 50 are might be accessible. You'd have to try that. I haven't tested that because, well, I don't necessarily wanna delete all of these videos off my phone to be able to get down to that point right now. What I wanted was a quick solution. So I actually just went in and paid the $14.99, uh, that's Australian dollars, to get the paid pro version of the app so that I can scroll all the way down here and get a nine minute video off my phone. So I'm actually doing a video at the moment for my Small Crown Productions YouTube channel, which is a making of video of a prop piece that I made for a theater show late last year. There it is. So it's nine minute and 43 second video. So I can click on that, go to download, you select the folder that you want the file to be saved into. You can have original or H.264, and you can see a little descriptor there, H.264 on Windows to convert high efficiency videos to MOV files and download. So you can have the option to delete after you download. I've left it on original. Uh, that seemed to be a fine option and download it there. So that's now syncing up between the laptop and the phone through my Wi-Fi connection. 
and that will download that file. It's a 568 megabyte file. That's gonna take a few minutes because I've got a pretty old laptop, uh, but uh, we'll check back in once that's downloaded. We'll have a look at the file. We can see what we get. So I've had a bit of a play with the app and I have transferred a few files over to my computer. There's two ways that you can transfer the file. The first is in the original format and that has put my files onto my computer, my PC laptop, as QuickTime movies. The other version is an H.264 format which, uh, with a little bit of basic research, because I didn't know anything about that, I'd never heard of it before, uh, that's actually an MPEG-4 format. The images, the videos rather, are supposed to come over at full compression. There should be no loss of information. I will say though, some of the files that I've brought over and just had a quick look at on Windows Media Player do appear to have some very visible loss in image quality. Uh, not all the files. Uh, the main ones that I'm looking at are actually fighting videos. It's a bit of an update. I went back onto my phone to have a look at those fighting videos and I think the issue is actually in the original file. When I zoom in on them, they are a little rough around the edges. Ultimately, those video files weren't the greatest of quality to start with. But I will say, I think that has been accentuated a little bit when they've come across onto the PC. That said, I also transferred a bunch of videos across from my phone that I shot while I was out on a cruise last November, and all of those have come across perfectly. There is no issue with any of those. So I really do think it was those particular fighting videos that were the issue in the original file anyway. So all up, fantastic that I can now get video files from my phone, like this one, across onto my PC and the video quality is good it's simple and honestly it was just it's been the best solution the last two days since i've been playing with this getting video files over so if you could give this video a like if you got some value out of it that would be fantastic of course if you got something of value out of it there is a good chance you will know somebody else who will get something out of it as well so share it with them tag them in the comments whatever you've got to do to pay it forward so we can keep helping each other out let me know in the comments what is your biggest hassle when you're shooting content on your phone. And if you uh, are looking for other solutions, then tap one of these other videos and I'll see you there. See you next time.